I think that's one of the most common misconceptions is that you post a few videos online, yeah. somehow they go viral, and all of a sudden things are just easy and oh, it came out of nowhere. But it's really not that way. I was actually talking to Lando and Salah earlier and telling them that eight or 10 years ago when I was moving to LA, I was watching their videos for inspiration. And at the same time, I was posting my content as like a new choreographer, trying to get my stuff out there. And that was a decade ago. And I spent probably five or six years posting videos regularly, whether it was my class or concept video with some friends, and nobody watched it. Yeah. And uh, don't go back and watch them. They're really bad. <laughs> I'm going to find No, you're not. Those. They're all going to be private by the time you get back to the hotel. Um, <laughs> but it, it, it is. It's really, it's really a challenge because there's so many great dancers. So one of the things I always challenge my students with is what's unique about you you know there's a lot of women that are amazing poppers or tutters what is it amazing about ditto what's special about her that people watch her videos you know and and that's what i encourage people to do is is post content sometimes you don't even know what it is about yourself and kind of what i fell into and in a way got really lucky with is because i grew up somewhere where dance was not accessible I started posting tutorials really early on because I was like, I wish somebody would post choreography tutorials so that I could learn choreography. So if I want other people to do that, I'll start doing it myself. And I kind of got this online community of people around the world being like, man, thanks for posting tutorials. You know, we're trying to learn, you're trying to learn. And we all kind of were like pushing each other. And that sort of became my niche is like, I'm, I don't claim to be the best dancer or the best choreographer in the world, but I just want to put stuff out there that whether you're a professional dancer or you're new to dance, you see it, maybe get inspired by it, maybe want to learn it, do it at the club. I get people all the time like, I performed it at the talent show or like my parents did it with me at the bar mitzvah, like all kinds of crazy stories of people that just somehow saw a video, got inspired, and because there was a tutorial, they were able to access it and make it a part of their life. And um, I just, I love to dance. I love what I do. I, I'm on the road right now. I've, I've taken six flights in the last four days. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, <laughs> when I leave, or after I leave, I teach two classes tomorrow morning. I get right on a flight back to LA, straight into a 12 hour shoot, straight on a plane to Germany. So it's like, the, the more that happens, the crazier it gets. But if you love what you do, which obviously we wouldn't be in this room if we all didn't love to dance, it's, it's so worth it. It's so rewarding. And I've been in probably the same place that everybody in this room is at. I went to a convention where I didn't get a single scholarship. I didn't get called out in a single group. I posted videos that got no views. I went to auditions where I was the first person cut. Like anything you think, like, oh man, I started dancing when I was 18. Like there's no reason why you can't make it if you're willing to put in the time, the commitment, and also think outside the box because what a lot of us have done here, and, and so many of these guys, like, man, I took their classes early on, Ian, Brian, Sean, Lando, like, when I got to LA, I was like, wow, these guys are doing it. Like, they, it's so inspiring. And I was like, how can I get to that level faster? And I, I just did everything that I could. And if somebody was like, no, you have to have an agent, you have to do this, you have to do that. I was like, no, what if I want to work with Chris Brown? And instead of going to his mass cattle call audition, I post a bunch of videos to his music and he sees one and he calls me in. And right now I'm working with Jason Derulo on a music video that we're shooting specifically because I posted a YouTube video wow. and wow. he saw it, he liked it. He was like, hey bro, what are you doing next week? Wanna come work with me? <laughs> and and that's, that's how the internet works these days. So that's a great thing because it means that you guys have an opportunity to do anything in the world, dance or outside of it, that you wanna do if you really set your mind to it.